before we get started with this video, I now sell merchandise. So if you're interested in buying a t-shirt or a mug, I have a link to my store in the description. I really appreciate anybody that purchases any one of my products. All right, so my head Lucy is actually laying. She's pushing out her first egg. Quick little update. Looks like we have one, two, three, four good eggs so far and two slugs. And you can see she got some more left to go. So hopefully the rest are fertile eggs. All right, guys, so my 100% head leucistic female just finished laying her second clutch. And if y'all don't know, she was paired to a super arctic 66% head leucistic. So there's a, a small chance that I can produce some arctic leucistics. The first clutch should be hatching in about 20 days. So I'll definitely let y'all know what that is. But let's get to this second clutch. All right. As you can see, we have some slugs. We have some good ones, so not as good as the first clutch. The first clutch was nine good eggs and no slugs. As you see right here, this is an infertile slug. So we'll put that to the side. We also have another one right here. This is a slug, even though like some of it is calcified. This one right here is probably a slug, but we're gonna candle it. So it looks like a total of one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten eggs. So let's get with the ones that I know that are fertile. And then we'll candle them for you. So we got this one right here. Let's candle and find the embryo. And we have it right here. Nice embryo. Hopefully y'all can see that. Let's zoom in a little bit. So we'll place this right side up. All right, I have the second egg right here. This is a big egg. You can see very good veins on this one. Really nice embryo. All right. <clears throat> we have this one right here, smaller egg. Very nice veins on this one too. Look at that. This one, I can, I can already like look at it without candling and see the embryo because these veins are really good on this one. Look at that. A really good one. All right, we have this one. Another one with extremely good veins. This one, this is a smaller one. You can see the embryo, not as good as the other ones in terms of vascularity. So I'm not 100% sure if this one will survive. We'll see. And 
And then we have these other ones that I'm pretty sure are slugs, like this one right here. This one is like a half slug, but it has an embryo. So I'm not 100% sure if this is going to survive, but it will go into the incubator. See, you can kind of see it's like a, a boob bag. This part right here doesn't look fertile. I don't know if it's just infertile or it's just not as well calcified. But we'll put it in there. Let's look at this last one right here. That Similar to that last one where like half of it is calcified, half of it isn't. And it does have a little embryo, but it's like very, very weak. So I may just incubate this by itself. And we'll see. So this is a, 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 a maybe. Like I said, I'm going to incubate that one by itself. And then we have the obvious slugs right here. And we'll just check to see if it has an embryo. Nope. No embryo whatsoever. And we have this slug right here. Almost looks like a little embryo right here, but this isn't going to do anything. It's not going to hatch out anything. It'll just go bad. <clears throat> So that's it. So we got 10 total eggs. It looks like seven of them are really good. And then we have that one maybe egg that, like I said, I'm just going to incubate separate from all the others. I'll probably put it in here and I'll just put it to the front. If it starts molding, I'll just take it out. So let me do that. Let me make sure we got it the right side up. Okay. And we'll just put this in the corner. All right, and I have a mouse thawed for my female, and I'll get to feeding her. All right, I got a nice mouse for this mama. No, oh, she's peed off. I know. You did good for me. You're my reliable one. missed but I know you're hungry there you go and she is done for the year I put my hide back in there and we got 20 days until her first clutch hatches out. Hopefully we get some article assistance. And I now have a Patreon account for those who want to support me even further. Here you will have access to exclusive videos, giveaways, as well as discounts. The link will be in the bottom in the description. And if you purchase Repi links, feel free to use the discount code SHOVELHOGS to receive 5% off of all purchases.